Hey guys, what's up? It's Dino. I got a haircut and I changed my name to Dennis. Just kidding. It's Dennis. Today we're doing a sub install. Uh, should be relatively easy. Got the sub over here. I'm gonna put this beast into that beast. So let's get started. So uh, for today, or for this install, you need a sub, obviously, and an amp. My amp's uh, bolted on my sub, 250 watts, 12 inch sub, nothing too special, it bumps pretty good. And you need these uh, cables, I got these for 20, 25 bucks at Walmart, and uh, I'll give you a quick overview on what plugs up to what. So this blue cable goes from your radio to your amp, and then uh, this is your uh, sound, it goes from your radio also to your uh, sub, or your amp. And then this is your ground you put from your sub to your uh, a bolt in your car. And this is your power. I don't need this long of a cable for my power because my battery's in the back. But yeah, usually you do need it because your battery's in the front and your sub's going to be in the back. But uh, that's all the wires you need, so it's pretty simple. We got to pull off this little center console piece because this is a bitch to get off. Hey, watch your label. <laughs> So I got a haircut. And I changed my name. These screws right here. That's, this one's not even connected. I don't know if that no, I got it, I got it. Use your tools to the maximum. Oh shit, there's two more. Hey, watch your labor. It's a family show. Oh snap. We got it, boys. All right, so now we got this uh, big mess of jumble. So I'm reading the diagram because I don't know where the remote cable is. So we got to read it, guys. I like that. Read it. So I cut into the zip tie. It was, it was all tied together. And uh, usually it's blue, guys. Mine are, I'm lucky it's labeled amp, cont. It can be called remote, too. I think this is it. I, mean, I don't know for sure. But <laughs> We're find it's that. usually blue. Look hey, guys. Blue. I'm here. I'm here, guys. Oh, you like the battery tray? <laughs> That's the battery box. Right. We, we did That's that. it. We did that on the battery relocation video, guys. It's uh, it's hooked up. Now you just play music and you need to go. I need to find. So we need to find somewhere to ground this to. Dino just grounded the uh, thing. Just kidding, it was me. We had to make the hole bigger. I'll make your hole bigger. <laughs> and now I'm putting. I I just stripped it. and Now I'm putting it in the ground. This is the easiest part. So make sure you disconnect the battery, you don't want to die. For my car, since my battery's in the back, I don't need much wire, I just need this little piece right here. And this is overdoing it, honestly. So I'm gonna have all this extra wire. You guys are probably gonna have to use this whole wire, because your battery's gonna be in the front, unless you're JDM with me. All right guys, so this kit comes with the wires to connect to the radio. So it comes with the white and the black, it doesn't really matter which way you go, but I put white and white, and black and red. It's kind of stupid, it's not just red and white, but can't complain. And after that, you want to run the wire towards the front. It's pretty simple, just move it. This car has nowhere to really tuck the wire, so you just kind of throw them around. Yeah, so what's my the recommendation front of it? is put tape around one if you want to remember. So after that, you ideally, you want to like, like take off the centerpiece right here and put the wires in there nicely, but I just kind of slipped it under because oh, I don't want to do that to this car, I don't really give a shit. Sorry for cussing. And uh, anyway. So once you got the wire into through here, to the shift knob, whatever, you want to put it through here. So make sure you go under this, and then you can pull this out. There you go. It's going to be a lot extra just shove it in there. And then you want to just plug in the radio. This fancy dandy one has a bunch of ports, but just find one that says R out or RL out. Depends if you have a right and left setup. Uh, this one's just a single sub, so it doesn't matter. Just plug it in any. Make sure you don't forget the order it goes in. And that's that part done, but don't put it away yet because we gotta still put up the uh, remote. Remote, yes, remote. So now you got your remote wire. You wanna strip a little bit off. I just stripped that down, it doesn't really matter as long as you can put it inside here. And you're gonna wanna find the one that says remote right here. It's next to, between the power and the ground. So I'm gonna find the Allen key for it. I think this is it, I have no idea. After you loosen the bolt, I'm gonna go ahead and slip this guy in there and just crank down on it. So, now we got that, that clamped in there really tight, you can go ahead and start feeding this through the car. So make sure you go under stuff, not over stuff, or else you have a, a bad looking job. 
This car is nice and easy because there's nothing inside. Because it's a tin can. Strict life. Alright, so I'm gonna put this up to the front. They give you way too much scale, by the way, guys. Just saying. It's honestly stupid. That's better more than. Yeah, yeah. For, for sure, man. For sure, does. So you got all this mess of cable up here. You don't want to. Preferably, like I said last time, you want to take that thing off so you have a nice clean job. But I'm just taking under. Yeah, pull it through. Pull it all of them through. All the miles of cable they give you. So once you get inside through here, you're gonna go under all this stuff again. And just pull it all through. And now I'm gonna get Dennis to cut the wire because it's his car. So what you gonna do after this? You're gonna strip this, and then you're gonna find the remote wire, usually blue on Nissan's, and just splice it in there. And then that should be that. If it doesn't work, uh, just find any 12 volt source. 12 volt source that's on when the radio's on. All right, so we're gonna put in the power now, the red cable, and uh, shorten it. Yeah, we'll Long put it in the. I got a lot of extra over there. Uh, the rear battery life. So watch you want battery it. location video. You want to tighten it, nice and tight. You don't want it to be loose. Sometimes it won't work. Make sure it doesn't slip out of its little socket, and then. I'm not going to put on the battery yet, but I'm going to put it on like this and then put this over it and we're good to go. But I'm going to go hook up the remote right now. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut open this uh, amp con. And we're going to... Or remote, same thing. Yeah, or remote. Most of the time it's going to be called remote. Now you're going to connect these all together. I like to connect these two first and then connect the remote after. It's much easier. I need some electrical tape too. It's better to solder by the way. Yeah, okay, do you have a solder? You want to twist a nice uh, nice couple amount of times here. The better way to do it on the remote wire is to uh, just cut it off with a knife to strip it and then instead of cutting it. I didn't even cut it. You didn't? No, I used strippers. Oh, okay. It's easy with strippers. I like strippers. Put electrical tape around it so it doesn't uh, ground to anything else. Short out. That should be good for the remote. So now we're about to test it. I'm hooking up these uh, this positive cable, like I was saying earlier. For the next step, Dennis gives me his uh, ECU and his injectors. <laughs> make sure, make sure you pull out your fuse. I mean, it's good to pull it out. You don't have to, but I would. I would highly recommend it so it doesn't blow. So we're gonna put in the fuse now. That's the last thing I'm doing. Hope it doesn't blow. So we're good, it didn't blow. Alright, just put the little cap there. Just put the little capper. That's what I said. <laughs> yeah, test it out before you put it back together or else it's gonna suck. So that's the last thing you do. Turn it back on. Yeah. It still goes to fuel pump, okay? <laughs> there it is. Maybe. Hooking up Bluetooth, because you know, Bluetooth life. Not working. Yeah, it's not working. And that's it. So. <laughs> now you gotta find out what's broken. It's not a big deal, you know. It's pretty simple to fix this stuff. You just have to figure out why it's not working. So we're trying to see if those lights light up, which they're not. It is working fine. The ground. The ground's good. We didn't know what wire was uh, was messing up the whole thing, but we figured it out. So I just unplugged all of this and reconnected it all. You probably won't have to do that, but um, and I also changed the remote cable to the to this red cable. It's called ACC Plus. Yours probably won't be labeled, but um, but yeah, it's the power cable. So you can hook it up to the power cable. It's usually red. Boom! Now we play some music. Hopefully we don't get copyrighted. Check this out. <laughs> Copyright. Alright, make sure you uh, put, your, put your cables nice and tidy away. And you stick this big monster back in here. And you line up the screws and screw everything back how it used to be. This is a ratchet screwdriver. Oh, wow. It's broken. Oh. Alright, guys, so we just, just installed this sub into an SR20 here. Uh, Doesn't matter. Dropped in myself. He didn't. 
what I mean by that is someone else dropped it in. That's not me. And it's a red top, but it's blue. But it's red, trust me. It's pretty nutty. It's faster than his little baby turbo. It's a lot. Look at that turbo, you can't fucking see it. I have a turbo in here, you have to believe me. Look, look, look for it, look for it's it. It's down here somewhere. Look for that. Do you see anything? I'll do anything. You see the piping? Nah, that's nothing. It's for your, for your AC. Here it is, this is my turbo. Thanks for, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, subscribe. We'll keep throwing out content. Put in the comments below what we should do next. And if you don't tell us, we'll do something anyways. And like the video if you like the video. Yeah, and like the video. And dislike if, if dislike. If you it. don't like it, like it. I mean, if you disliked it, just go move your mouse a little bit to the left and click the like <laughs> one. Same thing. That's it, guys.